Welcome to video number 15 about how to make a chess program in Go. Let's start to look into the to-do, our to-dos. Okay, start thinking process is too early. Add test cases, I will do that. And start, that is too early. And here we have in position, we have Uh, is in check we need to do that but it's too early but we have this explain magic numbers that's that's done and that's done okay so now it's time to generate rook moves with the magic bit board <coughs> So uh, we will use these attacks in uh, magic. In fact, let's try to try to make that in one line. It should be possible to start with all BB and with inner BB. Uh, isolate, isolate that one and times multiply with uh, the magic number that should be all and of course shift shift it all okay it should be it should be okay and um, we can remove this. I don't know if it's better to make it in one line or not. <laughs> I just did that. Okay, so we remove this this one, the simple generate rooks with the simple method, and we move that down to the bottom here and we um, to do remove this later on when benchmarking is done so let's find a good place for our generate rook moves we can paste that here and that is and should be our new generate rook moves and the beginning here should be the same and the loop should be the same but all this we can remove we have no directions can remove that uh, no directions and now we have all the attacks from our rook tab with magic magic Bitboards, and that is our uh, bitboard. We remove all the. We cannot capture our own pieces, so we remove them from the attacks. We have a force to be about the same here, but it's two, so we get all the two squares here from the board the attacks and we can remove all this we keep the pack move like that and now we have unsigned int 2 and the capture the capture is what we find on that square it can be empty or it can be uh, an enemy piece and the rest should be the same I think uh, let's see if everything looks good um, well no that should be and 
because it's everything except our pieces. And we should call this one, we'll rename that 2BB. And now it looks perfect. And now we can copy this one for Bishop Moves. Let's put it after here. And it should be Bishop, Bishop Moves. And remove that one. And it's a Bishop Bitboard. Bishop and Bishop should be okay here yeah. and we can copy for other pieces as well so we have Queen moves we can prepare for Queen moves and we make a number of copies here for different pieces what do we have we have queen we have knights we have uh, king and one more like this pawn moves okay uh, some reminder here about don't forget about castlings and for queen we can copy the bishop it should be the same more or less but we should have queen queen okay and we should have two double uh, one for bishop one for rook because the queen used both both of them and that's that pawn moves are tricky things so we have one step two steps uh, on passant and promotions to think about we can give them one line each they deserve that Okay, let's copy the pawn moves. We need one more function. Whoops, that function for uh, generate all moves. Okay, and we have the, the different we have pawn moves. And we need the parameters and one for each piece type so it should be okay like this so now we can generate all the moves for each piece, piece type and we can also generate all moves all together and it should spell 2w and don't forget about captures as well okay if we take a look at night moves we can actually pre pre-compile every every night move possible not pre compiled pre set the same for kings and we need to initialize those tables so most for knights and another in it, in it for kings like that we have eight directions and um, let's call it north north east i think it's correct 
and east northeast and so on and what do we need to do here all directions eight so okay we go through all the squares from a1 to uh, h8 and we put this all the moves from each square okay and we start with the uh, north north east so we have rank the rank is from divided by eight and the file is from modulo eight that's all and we need to check if the rank plus two is less than eight and file plus one is less than eight that is north northeast okay, let's start with a zero bit board and if it's okay we can set the uh, uh, we can set it to two and two is rank plus two multiply eight plus uh, five plus one unsigned int okay and everything should be the same for each direction so we can copy and this is plus one plus two plus one and two it's the same and it should be the same so now we have all of them And for kings, we have eight directions as well. North, northeast, and that's eight directions. And we shouldn't forget to to save the two BB in in the move tab. Moves nights from should be to BB. So we have the night moves, and now we can initialize the king moves. If we take and copy and use night for the king night logic for the king okay so we start with north and that should be uh, no plus one and file doesn't change so it should look like this and we can continue we copy that one and moves to BB into the King's tab like that okay some little comments um, initialize all the King moves possible King moves okay so initialize all possible night moves good and now when we make a move from with a knight or a king we just use the from square and pick the bitboard from these two tables one of them and we have the moves okay that's all for today what i will do until next time is to make unit tests so all these uh, gn moves 
thing. Have a good time.